Hi everyone, my name is Ryan Harris with Purdue Extension in Spencer County, and in this video we will talk about some common weather patterns in the United States. Let's get started by talking about what a weather system is. Weather systems include both low and high pressure air that travel across the planet. Under the right conditions, weather systems can create patterns like rain and snow. In addition to air, the sun is also extremely important to our weather. Sunlight shines more on some parts of the Earth than on other parts. This is why the middle of the Earth, which is the red shaded part of this picture, is much warmer than either of the North or South Poles, which are cold year-round. Jet streams also affect the weather of the world. In the United States, the polar jet stream runs from the northwest and travels east. This carries weather systems with it. When weather systems meet this jet stream, they can be blown to different parts of the country depending on how strong they are. The United States in general has a continental climate, meaning that most parts of our country are cold in the winter and hot in the summer. Not all parts of our country are like this though. The United States has a few different climates depending on where you are in the country. As we can see in this picture, the northern parts of the U.S. get much colder in the winter than some states in the south. We can also see using this picture that it's just the opposite extreme in the summer. Southern states have much hotter summers than those in the north. Rainfall is also different throughout the United States. The red parts of this map show places where rain falls the least, which causes droughts. Droughts are periods of time when rain does not fall, which are harmful to crops. Dry droughts can be very bad, but sometimes it rains too much, which can then lead to a flood. Flooding is when too much rain falls during a particular time. Floods can be just as dangerous as droughts, and can affect people's homes as well as their crops. Floods and droughts are the extreme ends of precipitation, which is another word for anything that falls from clouds, like rain. For the most part, the United States enjoys a very mild temperature with just enough precipitation to help our crops. Thanks for watching everyone, and if you want to learn more about how weather works, check out the links in the description below. Have a great day!